it's also a good chance to actually like test out your skills and attacks and everything so and um skill number one skill number two skill number three skill number four So, actually, I'm not even sure if I have to learn any skills. Let me check and see if I have to learn any skills. No, I don't. I do not. So, I'm good. That's right. That's right. I have to go. But oh, wait, I don't know. Go back for a second. Okay, so I have to go to Ice Wind Forest. And let's go to hard mode because I already defeated on easy. Well, normal mode. So it has easy, normal, hard, master, and abyss. And abyss is the hardest of them all. You do not want to go abyss alone. Unless. You are very, very OP. Okay, and we are in f Ice Wind Forest. So let's get started. And if you can hear um, noise in the background, that's my fan because um, unfortunately this computer can't last long without like hibernating so I have to keep the fan on to cool it down to keep it cool got a couple of frost bull pups bunch of nasty buggers got a breast a grass gallero. I don't even know what a gallero is. Like if someone could explain to me what type of hat in full detail a gallero is, I would be happy. And the jobs are pretty nice sometimes. Um, kind of on guard. I don't really want that. And this, uh, this skill that I use here it ba is basically an auto guard skill. So if someone attacks me, I block it with my shield. Like just now. So the cleric basically focuses on electric attacks. We have a champion goblin, a powerful goblin. Come on now. And that's basically your secondary attack or your downed attack. If you hit an enemy, if you press that um, attack or that key while the enemy is down, it triggers that thing. And if you don't, and if you hit it on an undowned person, it just turns into an attack. So it basically gives you another way of attacking basically. A monk trainee shield. I might actually need this. A sturdy midnight dark airing. 
and some money. Thank you. Don't need any of those. What's here? Nothing but boxes. Nah, yeah, don't need that. On to the next stage. And um, these characters are gender locked, which I, I I don't know about um anybody else, but I like I kind of like gender locked characters. I'm not actually too sure why I like gender lock characters. I guess it's because gender lock characters have more backstory than non gender locked characters. And I'm a pretty backstory kind of guy, so. That's what I use right there is a nice area of effect um, skill. See? I auto guard like twice. What you doing here all alone? Ow. Throwing rocks at me? Another brass gallery. I don't need that puppet, that's for the mage. Well, that's for the, um... I didn't need that neither. Some more money. Bunch of shielded, um, what do you call them? Orcs? Yeah, bunch of orcs. So the 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 tactic with shielded enemies is basically break the shields, and when you break the shields, they're vulnerable. Otherwise, they'll just keep blocking a lot. Okay, this is getting annoying now. You have to die. I was trying to... I was trying to be nice and leave y'all for last, but no, you have to die first now. Where are you? You're, you're close to dying. I'll kill you first. Can't get through my shield, you dumb bullcup. And that name sounds familiar anyway, Bullpup. I think it's the name of a weapon in another game, or... It sounds familiar. Kick you in the jaw. Shield bash. Yeah, God strikes you. Look at this. Look at it, how many drops there are. Sometimes it gets annoying, sometimes it doesn't. Especially when there's money. 
I don't need that brass shield. I got a stronger one. Well, actually, I'll take just in cases. Oh yeah, you could also evade, but that's like a passive skill, so it requires cooldown. And on to the boss. So this is another good thing about this game is that it forces you to do a full. But what's also good is that the 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 floors or the the oh shoot ow the floors or the I guess dungeon levels aren't that fast. It's just like two or three floors and then you go straight to the boss and that's it. And I think the reason why is because the boss is basically just as um, hard. So putting like a whole bunch of rooms then a very very hard boss is just unfair sometimes. I mean, do this. I have a bunch of idiots. Ah, uh, what's bad about auto guard is that if you're about to do a skill and someone attacks you right in the middle of it, you auto guard and and you have to wait for the cooldown of the skill that you was about to do. Move. There you go. I'm trying to kill you before any of these people come up. Two down with one strike. And look at all these drops. I'm taking these. Thank you very much. Don't hit me. You bastard. Okay. Stay right there. And I'm about to die. This will do for now. Anyway. Take this. Oh, need for more inventory. It's whatever. I swear don't die. Oh, still in cooldown. Move! There we go. Thank you. Uh, that auto guard really comes in handy sometimes. There we go. That was close to I was about to die, and I hate when they do that. They drop meat or healing items when you beat the boss. You could have dropped that earlier, you no? Know? Choose my treasure. And excuse me a second while I take a sip of my iced iced chocolate tea. 